Cliff says in that little meeting right there says it all. He's right there, one of the leaders in the team and different hands on his hips, body language tells you. No answers for the minute man. Yeah, the worst start to a game in program history leads to Nebraska's worst start to a season in 73 years. The Huskers fall behind 39 to nothing at the half and route to a route at the hands of number 19 Michigan. The Big Red falling to 0-3. The best part of Nebraska's day may have been seeing Adrian Martinez back on the field. The true freshman quarterback getting the start after sitting out last week with that Right knee injury, not a great start for the Big Red though. Martinez with a wide open J.D. Spielman, but it's tipped and intercepted by Josh Metellus. Two turnovers on the day for the Huskers. Leads to a Michigan score. That's as close as it gets. First play of the ensuing possession. Karan Higdon off to the races. 44 yards on the big house call. 136 and a score for him on just 12 totes. 14 nothing. Special teams, once again, an issue for Nebraska. Already 20 zip when Tyjon Lindsay tries to pick up this punt off the turf. Fumble sets up another field goal for Michigan. Second quarter, Wolverines going to the air. Shea Patterson off the play action to a wide open Zach Gentry. The tight end puts Michigan up 30 to nothing. Nebraska would trail by 39 at the break. Biggest deficit in program history. Third quarter, more special teams issues. Caleb Lightborn's punt fielded by Donovan Peoples-Jones and Watch the wide out go to work. Ends up as a 60-yard touchdown return. Michigan leads it 46 to nothing before Nebraska can get on the scoreboard. Silver lining for the Huskers, though, coming late in the fourth quarter. Wyatt Mazur's first career touchdown, but this one was over early. 56 to 10, your final score. Looking at this one by the numbers. Nebraska outgained by 359 yards. Most since that blowout loss at Ohio State two years ago. Of course, Tommy Armstrong was injured in that one. Adrian Martinez healthy today. Sports Director Andy Kennedy is on the field in Ann Arbor with the post-game wrap-up. Andy? Earlier this week, Scott Frost said, this may get worse before it gets better. And the Huskers head coach was prophetic because this was what he called rock bottom. 56-10, to 10, the Huskers fall to 0-3 for the first time since 1945. I don't know how many times I've been a part of a game like that, but we got beaten every phase. Uh, in games like these, you know, these are watershed moments now. We got our butt whipped. So uh, guys either going to have to figure out how to work hard and get it fixed or, or we'll move on to the next guy. And, and again, that's not trying to throw anybody under the bus. That's just the facts of it, is we can't keep doing the same things and expecting a different result than this. We're, we're not going to go any lower than this. Um, we talked about that this is the bottom. If you're, if you're in a swimming pool, this is the bottom of the, the, the pool. You're, you're, you finally touch your feet on the ground, and when you're at that point, you're able to, to push off. You know, It's not about swimming. It's about actually being able to get back to the top. Scott Frost knew when he took the job at Nebraska, this was a big rebuilding job. But the gap between where Nebraska is now and where the Michigans of the world are, well, that's a big one. I, I knew we had a lot of work to do. Um, we're not giving up. We're going to get this thing right. They, they brought us in here to get it right. We're going to get it right. Um, but w we knew it was a big job. We knew because there's just so much that had to be fixed and changed. And um, it doesn't show up when you're playing teams that aren't all the way there. Uh, Michigan's, they're a top 25 team. I don't know where they fit in that, but there's no question about that. And we're not there yet. Uh, coach always says we have 24 hours to mourn or be happy, whatever it is, depending on the result of the game, and then we got to move on. I'm going to go in tomorrow, get treatment, watch film on our next game. Uh, nothing else to do. I think the biggest thing right now is just stick together as a team, um, stay positive, and know what we need to fix and correct to move forward. Okay, let's bring in our big red zone insider, Sean Callahan, HuskerOnline.com. Sean, you've seen a lot of Husker games over the years in your career. Where does this one rank in terms of ugliness? Yeah, I've been in Lubbock in 04 and Boulder in 01 and Pasadena in 02 for the Rose Bowl. And, and you, you think about just moments and kind of where it was at. Today was as low for me as anything just because never once did you feel like Nebraska was in this game on offense, defense, special teams from the get-go. I mean, they, they – had one play out of the gates that was okay, and then the, then the turnover, and then you know the largest deficit we've ever seen in the modern era of Nebraska football here at halftime today. Scott Frost called this a watershed moment, saying this is rock bottom. Are you buying that? I, I think so, but you know Columbus, Ohio is not going to be any easier. I mean, they're going to have 
uh, more explosion, more weapons on offense, just as good of a defense as Michigan. Um, so they've got another game like this in a stadium just like this here in about a month or so in Columbus, Ohio. And that's going to be, if not as hard, harder than what they saw today. And oh, by the way, coming to town next week is a Purdue Boilermaker team that you've thought pretty good about, but now they just pulled off an upset against the 20, top 25 team. That game next Saturday, 2.30 kick in Lincoln.